Hello and welcome to this Zwift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device, Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod, as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. gawping at me. Basically this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run so you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Hello and welcome to this Zwift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device, Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. 
There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. Well, go on then, don't just sit there gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Hello and welcome to this Zwift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device, Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod, as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. 
I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. Well, go on then. Don't just sit there gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Stephen Cousins and we are broadcasting live on Facebook and on YouTube. While we're getting everything ready, it would be absolutely awesome if you could go and subscribe to the Film My Run YouTube channel and also the Zwift Live YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Film My Run and also Twitter at Film My Run and the website is www.filmmyrun.com. It's very nearly time, so sit back, relax, don't forget to drop me a ride on and watch me do all the hard work. Literally just before the start, I've had a dropout. Unbelievable. Can't get the can't get the treadmill to connect. Right, so I'm gonna be a bit behind you guys. I'll need to catch you all up. There it is. Fingers crossed. Oh, we're all right. We're all right. Just at, just at the very beginning, we can go. Right, film my run 500. We will walk it out for the first few hundred meters. During this time, 
increase your treadmill incline to 12 cent. So up we go, 12% on the treadmill. Bingo! Yeah, I just got it working in time. <laughs> Andrew Boot says, are you coming to sunny Cornwall this week weekend? We are. Yes, we will be down in St. Austell or near St. Austell on the Cornish coast for the Roseland August Trail, the Rat weekend with a Mud Crew, where I will be live streaming the event. Uh, so look out for that on uh, Facebook and YouTube. Uh, you will be, you will need to be um, on the uh, Mud Crew Facebook page or the Film My Run YouTube channel in order to watch those. But yes, we'll be down in Cornwall. Get used to those steep feels. Stephen Smith, good morning to you. Uh, currently running the Collins Cup Europe run. Well done, Stephen. Good job. We've got Sasha Favell r running with us today. Jeff Partridge is in the mix. Charles Misk, Ratterman. Hi, guys. Tipper One. M Runner is with us today. M Runner from Thailand. We like to play a little game of keep your heart rate below 150 BPM. This is a controlled, disciplined effort. We are keeping the heart rate as low as we can. We are being as efficient as we can. This is not an all-out cardio session. The idea is to build the calf muscles and quadriceps or climbing in trail races. But this kind of training will also help your speed on the flat. Uh, Mackenzie Pierce, hello. Good morning to you. Hope you're well. Uh, I am watching chat, by the way. So Facebook chat, YouTube chat, and Twitch chat. I'm looking at all those channels. So if you want to say something, by all means, please do. We are walking it out, and eventually we will start running. This may seem fairly easy at the moment. We'll stop. But if you keep to the plan, it will hurt by the end. We keep climbing the whole way through. We'll stop, no rest. And it just gets quicker. When we start running at the arch, get up onto your toes, use short 
stride length and fast cadence. Uh, Sasha says uh, it's always very cool at the end when we go to zero percent. Yes, when we <laughs> when you're shattered at the end and you actually just put it down to zero when you finished. It's a nice feeling. John Farrell is working and watching. Thanks, John. Hi. humid here on the south coast of the UK. I have two fans going. Actually, told a lie there, I only had one fan going, but I've put the other one on now. So now I have two fans going. Kai Finnemore, good morning. Listening while driving back from Dorset. <laughs> raining and slow... Raining! And slow-moving traffic. What do you mean? What, driving back from Dorset? You've already had your... Oh, mind you, it is nearly the middle of the day, I suppose. Okay, let's get jogging. Right, so... 5.5 kilometres per hour. And uh, we are... Slowly... Jogging up the hill. Uh, my cadence is 161, my heart rate is 116. We'll be done in about 42 minutes. Nice to see one, actually, one or two of the tie runners who normally speed off ahead, they're staying with us. So M Tum and Tipawan and Fee are all sticking to the instructions at the moment, which is nice. Uh, we do have uh, Noguchi from Japan and Sea Park from South Korea um, a little bit ahead. That's okay, that is okay. And then we've got one or two much further ahead, I think. Actually, let's just have a look, just for fun. Hang on. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> we've got Ket Bang Chak, who is two minutes ahead from uh, Thailand. Uh, Kanin, um, don't know what that flag is, but it's a, certainly a, a South East Asian flag. One and a half minutes ahead. Chris from France is one and a half minutes ahead. Um, Ruko from Spain, a minute ahead. M Runner, 50 seconds ahead. That's okay. Okay, right, let me just, do you know what? I'll give them all ride-ons just to annoy them. Oh, and we've still got people even further ahead than that. N Nguyen from uh, Vietnam, I think that is. Is that a Vietnamese flag? A D Lee from South Korea, way ahead as well. So these guys, are, they, they treat it as kind of a race and they all run off as fast as they can. That's fine. But we'll give uh, some of these people a ride on. And then we'll get back to the gang who are sticking to the instructions. I've left half a cup of coffee, which is going to be cold at the end. That's no good, is it? Heart rate 126, cadence 166. Full stop. So depending on your height, 
your cadence should be fairly similar to mine. Ah, thank you, Jeff. So Jeff says the Great Britain women have just qualified for the 4 by 400 meter final in the Olympics. Jeff Partridge's heart rate is 124. That's good, nice and comfortable. Hello, Leo. Uh, Leo says, uh, good morning. Feeling rather tired this morning. Looking at Worthing 10K in October. Maybe get to see you. Well, yeah. Um, even if I don't race it, I'll probably be around. So yeah, it'd be good to see you down there. Well, I'll see you before that in Ben Nevis, of course. Right, 200 meters to go before we up the speed. We should all be fairly comfortable still. If your calf muscles are aching already, try and get to the next kilometer and then drop the incline a little. Hundred meters to go, thirty seven minutes to go. Um, well, Leo says, "How was the how's the weather?" Um, first thing this morning is bright sunshine and really warm and lovely. It's clouded over now, so it's humid, warm, but not sunny. What's TFL, Jeff? Calf is okay, but left side TFL giving me jib. Okay, time to increase the speed a little. Right, we're up to six kilometers an hour now. Doesn't have to be 6.1. That's just a programming error by me. I've tried so many times, I don't know how to get it to six. <laughs> it, I can't get it to six kilometers per hour. It just stays at 6.1 and see at the end there, 8.1 as well. No matter what I do, it either goes below six or above six. Never mind. Anyway, one kilometre done, three to go. Oh wow! Um, Leo says uh, we have had we've had monsoon weather, perfect running weather. Not complaining. <laughs> yeah, well, at least it's a bit cooler, I suppose. Okay, so the TFL is a ligament near your IT band, right? Okay. I wouldn't I wouldn't know one from the other, to be honest, Jeff. If it hurts, it just hurts. I'll just say it hurts in my left thigh, left leg a bit somewhere. <laughs> Sasha says his heart is tired today. 
my brain is tired always. At the top near your hip on the outside. Okay. Right. Heart rate 145 for Sasha. 135 for me. My heart rate is now 135. Cadence 167. Again, it's going to be difficult to keep the heart rate below 150, I think, this week with the heat. If it's cold where you are, which it won't be, will it? It's not cold anywhere at the moment. But hopefully you can keep your heart rate below 150. If you're fitter than me as well, you might be able to. Simon Funnel, thanks for the ride on, buddy. <sighs> Less than half an hour to go. And if you're wondering, uh, this is France, one of many routes, courses on Zwift. Uh, this is a, a representation of Ventoux in France, which is a famous hill climb in the Tour de France. We're only going up 4.2 kilometers of it. The whole thing is 21 kilometers long and 1600 meters into the sky. So we're not going that far today. Oh wow, Manchester's only 12 degrees at the moment. Oh, look at my image there. What's going on with that? That's a bit weird, camera four. It's, um, no, it's not that cold here, uh, Leo. It's about, probably about 18, 18 degrees, something like that here. Trying to find the weather on my watch, but I can't find it. And my phone is on the sofa over there. What about my iPod? Does my iPod have weather on it? Weather, there you go. Oh, no, not that. Right, it says London is 21. Worthing is 19. So 19 degrees. Down here. So there's a big difference between uh, north and south, isn't there, today? Right, my, uh, my companion app has now stopped working properly, so I can't chat in game.
Try it again. Sasha has completed his weekly time goal. Well done, Sasha. There we go. Companion app is back on now. Uh, 15 degrees in Bridport. At Bridport in Dorset. So Clive is on the way back down to Cornwall. Long drive through Exeter and down the M5. Probably starting to bite a bit for some people now. Calf muscles will be aching. Or well, they'll be feeling it in their quads. Shouldn't be feeling it in your hamstrings. Hamstrings are just there balancing you out but not doing any real hard work. Uh, Leo says, I'm away next week, Monday for four days, staying in a bell tent with the kids in Penrith close to Ambleside. So I'm going to do four days of just pure elevation, trying to complete at least 17,000 feet in four days, morning and evening. Wish me luck. Wow. Don't neglect the kids though, or are you going to drag them with you? Yeah, drag the kids up 17,000 feet of elevation gain. They'll love that. It might be starting to bite a bit for some of you. We'll stop. Keep it going. Next speed increase coming up. Okay, they'll be waiting at the bottom. Nice. Uh, Jeff Partridge has a good 7,000 metre route round the lakes. Yeah, I know that one. <laughs> okay, here we go to speed up a little bit. 23 minutes remaining of our Film My Run 500 climb. We've done two kilometres. We've got 2.2 to go. So we're not quite halfway yet. But we're speeding up. And heart rate is increasing. Only 20 minutes to go. Uh, if you didn't hear Jeff Partridge, let us know that the uh, Great Britain women's 4x400 team have got to the final in the Olympics, so that's good news. I'm not sure what other Olympic events are on the calendar today or overnight last night that we missed. I haven't checked up on the news. Sasha is out. 150 for Sasha. Heart rate. So that's our little game. If you get to 150 BPM, you're out. <laughs> you don't have to stop though. 152 BPM for Sasha. Good work, Sasha. Uh, 
All oh, right, the women's pole vault is on at the moment, apparently. And Jeff Partridge's heart rate is 140. My heart rate, 142 at the moment. Heart rate, 142. Cadence, 169. you are not aware this event is always live streamed Right, 500 meters to go till the next speed increase. Two and a half K done, 1.7 to go. So just over a mile left. My heart rate, 145. Leo, see you soon, buddy. Take care, thanks for popping in. So we're still at 12% incline. We are still climbing on our toes. Heels haven't touched the floor since the beginning. And we've got a mile to go of the film My Run 500. And uh, nothing tonight, by the way. I'm out again with the club tonight. Kind of help my wife with her marathon training. So I'm not, uh, I'm not running on Zwift tonight. But we'll be back on Friday. Oh, hang on a minute. No, we're going to Cornwall on Friday. I might try and fit something in Friday morning early. Clive's heart rate is 55. <laughs> Sitting in the car. I'm surprised it's not more if he's stuck in traffic though. 15 minutes to go. so easy to get set up with Zwift running. Here's what you need. Firstly, access to a treadmill. It could be at home or at the gym, but any treadmill will work with Zwift. To get you moving in game, we need a speed source. Traditionally, we use a foot pod, like the Zwift pod or the Stride. But you can also use the Run Smart treadmill sensor, your Apple Watch, one of the newer Garmin watches, the TSS app, 
and if you have a smart treadmill, your treadmill will connect directly to Zwift without the need for another device. Now simply download the Zwift app onto a Mac, a PC, an iPhone, an iPad, an Android device, Zwift even works on Apple TV. Finally, pair your speed source in the app. Pairing heart rate from your watch or a chest strap is also a great addition to Zwift. And that's it. You're all set up for solo runs, solo or group workouts, challenges and real-time racing on Zwift with people from all over the world. Uh, Jeff Partridge just keeping us informed about the Olympics. Jake Whitman from the UK just won his 1500 metre semi. Uh, Nick Ajad uh, says, hi Stephen, nice run and watching you, thank you very much, over on YouTube. So, Nick Ajad, is that right? I hope I'm pronouncing your name vaguely correctly, I apologise if I'm not. So this last kilometre, my heart rate will go into 150. Currently 147. Up to seven kilometers an hour now. If you have been following the instructions, your avatar has been walking up to now. Finally, we get to see our avatars running. Ten minutes to go. Thank you, Nick. Uh, so I have vaguely pronounced his name correctly. And Nick Ajad from Malaysia. Nice to have you with us, buddy. Um, if you are from Malaysia or Thailand, don't forget that um, Dean Equals is your guy over there. Dean live streams, very regular runs on Zwift. Great guy, lots of fun. So look up on uh, Facebook, look up Dean Equals. Obviously that's not his proper Malaysia, Malaysian name. But that's what he's known as on Facebook when he live streams. Less than a kilometer to go. Full stop. I am out. Heart rate 153. Eight minutes left. 
Wow, Jeff Partridge heart rate only 144. Good job. Charles, are you okay? Question mark. Well done. So we've got Charles, who's about 50 seconds back. Uh, Maz Runner, 1.4, 1 minute 40 seconds back. M Tum, 3 minutes 22 seconds behind. Great work. We've got Lou Tipawan, who's with us, only 13 seconds back. TG from Australia. Troy from Australia. My heart rate is now 156. <sighs> Great work from everybody. We've got 28 runners today. Well done, Troy. Five minutes to go. So we're not far off the end now. 400 meters left of the Film my run 500. Been a good session. Hard work as always towards the end. Heart rate goes up. Legs start to ache. But this will get you, get you good for any mountain ultras or trail marathons with elevation that you've got coming up. Makes you feel stronger on the, on the hills. Four minutes to go.
Thank you very much, everyone, for joining today. If you're feeling completely mental, we'll do this all again on Tuesday. Stay on your toes until the very end. We'll stop. Go as fast as you like at the arch. And off we go, 200 meters left. Cheers, Jeff. Thanks for the uh, Olympics updates. Thanks to everybody who's watched. Clive, Leo, Nick Ajad. Anyone else who commented further down that I'd missed. And we'll be back for another Film My Run 500 on Tuesday, 11.35 UK time. No live stream tonight, because I'm running with the club. I might try and fit one in in the morning. But tomorrow, we are headed down to Cornwall, in the southwest of the UK to um, be the social media manager for the Mud Crew Rat Weekend. 100 kilometer race, 50 kilometer race, 20 miles and 11 miles over the course of the weekend. And this is Sasha's favourite feeling, reducing the incline back down to zero. Oh yes, and the Boyd. We have a race at the weekend called Bring Out Your Dead. Which is, how far can you run in 24 hours up and down the hills of the coast path in Cornwall. That is a killer one. Okay, we are done here. Uh, my heart rate got up to 163 in that final 200. Uh, but look, you can see how quickly it's coming down again. So that's good. That means you're fit. If your heart rate goes really high and then it comes down quite quickly afterwards, that's a sign that you are pretty fit. So that's good to see. Uh, well done to Charles, well done to Jeff, well done to Sasha and Fee, well done to Troy and Maz. Um, who else did we have there who stuck to the rules? Anyway, quite a few runners took part today, so thank you very much to you guys. Thank you very much for the chat. <laughs> yeah, best moment. Best moment when you uh, slow down to zero and zero on the incline. <sighs> okay, everyone, thank you very much for watching. Uh, take care. Like I say, no stream tonight, but hopefully I might manage to fit something in tomorrow. Uh, we'll see you.